And this is pretty cool too, because a lot of people are gonna watch this for the tips, tips and tricks like purpose as well. Yes. And for the jokes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sexiest man and sexy woman. Let's do it. Have you noticed that uh, the red coat? She kind of like she flies a kiss. Uh, if you don't, if you don't do anything for a while, on the character select screen, she flies a kiss at you. Oh wow. Yeah, I told you. She then your then your heartbeat stops for that one moment, and you're just like, yeah. Oh, the red coat. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, oops. No offense to anyone, but she's freaking sexy. Oh, oh my. yeah. She's so hot. <laughs> all right, all right. But look at the coyote man. He's he's also a good-looking dude. Yeah, I mean like, and also he's like, he's the stylish dude in the whole game. Like because of, of the kill animations, because he has like yeah. uh, the 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 jester skill animations from ACB, and uh, like the jester was one of my fair my favorite, if not my favorite character from ACB, at least from the from the male characters. Although the the prowler was also beast. Ah, oh, gotta love the prowler. Anyway, well, let's let's get started, right? Because we're like wasting time. Um, all right. So what I want you to learn is follow me. <laughs> so oh, follow you. All right. I'm yeah. A bit behind. All right, I'm following. All right. So the but I love the I love the taunting of the coyote man. He's just yeah, and the taunting of of the red coat is really cool too. Like it's like I think I might have lost you actually. No. Uh, look, look at the compass. Look at me. Here, here I am. Hey, hey. You know, we, we, oh. Yeah, here I am. We could also do like a tip on uh, following the compass because I suck at that. But that's pretty straightforward, so maybe I should just smarten up. No, yeah, I'll probably tell you that, but I, I wanna like uh, this session keep it like a uh, decent size, so you can, so you have time to practice now because after this we're gonna play, and we're gonna oh, okay. you know, put your knowledge to the test. So. Awesome. All right, so this is the thing that I want to know. That I want to tell you. No, <laughs> I just said no. <laughs> all my English language. Anyway, yes. what you want to do is that sometimes your target is on the top of a of a ceiling or you know or a place like I am right now, but not all the time. They are exactly in front of you, and you cannot just grab kill them from where you are. For example, if I was here. Uh, 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 stay where you are, stay where you are, stay where you are. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if you were there and I was here, climb climb the wall. Do, do not drop or anything, just... Okay, so where you are right now, you cannot kill me, all right? But if you have lucky, yeah. there is something you can do in order to gain a, a quick position advantage and get the grab kill. Okay, you could... Don't, don't grab kill me. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, so technically you could do this. You could do that, right? And just move yeah. all the way to the... But the odds are that either I will see you or uh, it will just be too slow, you know? It's not going to be enough. You're, you're not going to yeah. get there in time. So you want to do this. Uh, drop. Uh, drop right now so I can show you what, what you should do. There is two, th two ways to do it. If you have already climbed all the way to the to the to the ledge and you're hanging from the ledge, you can do this. You saw what I did? Yeah. Ah. You gotta press uh, the side and and the empty hand button to grab the ledge to the side that you wanna grab the ledge. Oh, I did it. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh, but, but you know a lot of people ignore this and they're just like moving all the way to the ledge and you notice them when they do that yeah so you prefer it's preferable that they notice you but that you move faster because if if they notice you too late you're gonna still get the grab kill yeah yeah so what's up okay so that's if you were all the way up the top of the ledge but if you're down here where I am right now, there is an even faster and I will say even more stealthy and stylish way of doing it which is that you do a wall eject to the side and then you grab the ledge so you wanna do something like this you know? 
But in this case, I, yeah. I, I didn't do it properly. I have to climb higher. Uh, and this wall is kind of hard. But it, it's definitely doable. And in fact, I have done it in, in this same wall. I don't know why it can't. Ah, uh, oh, there I did it. Uh, no, I didn't. My bad, my bad. I was uh, it's all right. probably not helping. Ah! It's because this freaking wall is so high. Oh, there, I did it. You oh, stopped. there you go, yeah. You said, so I, I didn't even grab the ledge at any point. I just, I climbed all the way to the top and I wall eject to the side and grabbed the ledge. So basically, in those, in the case that you're in the bottom, you want to do that instead of grabbing the ledge and then uh, uh, wall eject into the side because this is a lot faster and you're way less noticeable because your jump was lower. So if the guy's above, they're probably still going to see you, but if they're not really paying attention, they might not see you because you were lower and the wall, the wall was covering you better. Yeah, you, uh, try to get to the top and then do the wall eject. I just noticed, I just noticed that that's how you do it. Because if, if you wall eject, if you wall eject too early, you're not gonna be high enough to grab the to grab the ledge later. Oh, why didn't it, I was at a good height too? Uh, too early. You're doing it too early. Try try doing it late instead of too early because it gives you plenty of time. Oh, there we go. There, yeah, that's how it works. You're a fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right. So that's one of them. But now let's learn a another trick. And we have three minutes and forty-three seconds <laughs> in this session. Yeah. So let let let's try doing it. Let's okay. hurry it up. I'm yeah. Get up. up. Get over here. Okay. So another thing you want to know is that there are two positions for grab kills. One is the, I would say the slow grab kill position which is the one where you are with your both your hands hanging from the ledge and your feet you have them on the on the wall so if you're like this you see i have my feet on the wall and my my hands are uh, grabbing the ledge right but yeah. if, like when i climb and i get into that position i have to wait a little bit before i do the grab kill because if i do it too fast i'm going to get an acrobatic kill instead of a grab kill and you don't want to get an acrobatic kill. You wanna, you want to get a grab kill. Okay, so, but there is another grab kill position, which is I call I, I personally call it the instant grab kill position. So, All it, right. which is this? Let me. Uh, okay, there. Because uh, when you're hanging like this from a from any kind of ledge, just with your hands and not with your feet, there there is a, dis a disadvantage, which is that you cannot wall eject. Because your feet are, are not against the wall, so you cannot wall, e wall eject, you know? Yeah. But, 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 one advantage is that as soon as you get into that position, you can immediately execute a grab kill. Uh, and an acrobatic kill will never, never come out when you're in that position. Okay, but in this case, I don't think that in this particular map, I'm not sure... I don't think there is a place where you can per perform an an instant grab kill because in this particular case this doesn't have a this doesn't have a wall you can climb up to maybe maybe you can do it from here maybe no no you can't it it all it all it all always puts the feet on the wall but yeah you can do it by wall ejecting to the side just as you were about to do that's one way to do it hey, there we go that's exactly First try. You see, you're an excellent app apprentice because that's because like you are like the Yoda of this whole <laughs> <course>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Jeez. Speak Man. like Yoda. I do not. <laughs> so and hopefully so. I, I not like Anakin where I turn into some. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, hopefully not. Okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, basically that that was the next uh, thing I was gonna tell you that you could uh, wall eject to the side, going to going to instant grab kill position, and if your target is on the ledge above it, you can just grab kill them like a boss, like a boss. Oh. oh damn! There's one more thing I wanna show you, but I think there's not gonna be enough time in this particular uh, training session. Well, so, it's another episode, so can't uh, be too bad. 
So yeah, we'll just have to do another short session and to remaining. show you the last one, the last uh, thing that I want to show you. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this game end and let's dino walk on, until the timers run run us out. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't see you. I don't see. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's like kabouse, like kabouse, like kabouse, like. Dino walking like a boss, like a boss, like a boss. Ah, 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 Anton! You have first. Oh my gosh, she's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> this video is just gonna be like turning out, like, us complimenting all the characters. <laughs> like some sort of fashion show. Oh, look at her posture as she walks. I tell you, she's freaking awesome! <laughs>